Hey everybody, what's up? Today I'm going to be showing you how FNAF tells a story with colors and what each color represents. Starting off we have red. Red represents bloodshed and violence. Red is obviously the color of blood, and when we see red in FNAF, something gruesome often follows. Michael Afton's mask that he wore during the Bite of 83 is red. William Afton's bloody corpse is red, showing the violence he's inflicted on others and his own bloody fate in the Springlock suit. Circus Baby is red, and she's a machine built specifically for kidnapping and murder. Next up is Orange. Orange doesn't appear that much in FNAF, and some of this is kind of a stretch, but it represents release. The fire that frees the spirits is orange, and UCN, Orval Elephant has a voice line that says, He tried to release you. He tried to release us. Next is yellow. Yellow is caution. It warns of what is to come. The Springlock suits are yellow, warning us about the danger within. The Fredbear plush is a guide to bite victim, warning him about the dangers around him. Nightmare Fredbear is yellow, warning that he is not the most evil and fearsome thing you will face in FNAF 4, but instead it will be Nightmare. After yellow is green, green represents change. Springtrap turns green as he changes over the years, becoming even more of a monster. Circus Baby's eyes turn green when she becomes possessed by Elizabeth. Glitchtrap changes into a green little plush toy, and Charlie is wearing a green wristband when she changes into the puppet. Michael Afton's skin briefly turns green as he begins to rot. Blue is also a little bit of a stretch, but blue represents ruin. Bite Victim wears blue shorts, and his blue tears are what cause Fredbear to malfunction. Michael has blue eyes and is wearing blue pants as his body is ruined. The leaky roof lets the blue raindrops in, causing Springtrap to malfunction. Circus Baby's eyes are blue right before she kills Elizabeth, and the lighting in the scooping room makes the place appear blue as Michael is ruined and killed. Purple is easily the most significant color in this franchise. It represents damage and destruction. Michael is purple because he is damaged on the inside and out. William is purple because he causes damage and destruction everywhere he goes. The purple shadows represent the damage and destruction that the Springlock suits will soon cause. Withered Bonnie is the most damaged animatronic out there, and he's purple. White represents false innocence, something that appears to be innocent and friendly, when in reality it is evil. The Funtime animatronics appear to be friendly innocent robots built simply to entertain children, when in reality they're built to kill and kidnap. Mangle once looked innocent and friendly too, but is now shown to be dangerous, and she is most likely responsible for the Bite of 87. Also, side note, while I was editing this video, I realized that Vanny is also white, and she has a blue bow tie signifying the ruin she's going to cause, and red bloodshed eyes. Lastly, black represents vengeance and death. The bite victim is wearing black when he dies. You see black eyes all around you whenever someone dies in FNAF. When you yourself die, the screen turns black oftentimes with red to represent the bloody end that you have met. Golden Freddy is yellow and black, warning us of the vengeance he will soon inflict upon William Afton. The puppet is vengeful enough to raise souls from the dead purely to get back at her killer, and one of her main colors is black. Nightmare is black, and in my own personal opinion, I think he's the bite victim back for revenge on Michael. Lastly, Cassidy, who is most likely vengeful spirit, is often depicted with black hair. And that pretty much covers it. Uh, thanks for sticking around. Do you agree? Do you think these are just coincidences? Am I looking way too far into this? Let me know in the comments. See ya!